So what is multivariate statistics? Uh, at its base level, it's statistics with multiple variables. Sorry, I'm dad, make dad jokes, but that's really what it is, right? And this differentiates it from univariate uh, statistical techniques and bivariate statistical techniques onto multivariate, right? So univariate means one variable. So when we do a t-test, we're looking just at the difference in a mean of one particular variable, right? And same thing with ANOVA, uh, or just descriptive statistics. These are all statistics around one variable. Then we learned how to do statistics around two variables, bivariate statistics, right? So correlations or bivariate regression, where we're taking some particular thing and comparing it to some other thing, uh, two variables across the same population. Well, multivariate statistics involves more than two variables. Uh, technically, it involves more than two variables on the dependent variable side. So more than two dependent variables is multivariate statistics. In some circles, technically regression with a single output variable would not necessarily be stat multivariate statistics, but frankly, unless you're going on to get a PhD in statistics, that matters not at all. What's important that what we're gonna cover in this class is uh, statistical techniques that cover multiple variables, multiple variables on the predictor side and multiple variables on the outcome side. Now the question is, why do we use these techniques? Why is this so important? Well. Uh, frankly, the problem is that if we just stick to bivariate regression, we just stick into two variables, that really doesn't answer the questions as well as it could, right? So because the problem is that there's more than one variable in the world, and these variables work with each other in different ways to cause different outcomes, right? So it's not enough to just take one variable and predict a performance outcome. That's, that doesn't get us there, right? So. In IO psychology, the most important finding, the strongest finding in terms of job performance is that cognitive ability predicts job performance. It is the single strongest predictor of job performance. So we should be able to end it there, right? Cognitive ability one, job performance two. The problem is that there's multiple different ways to measure cognitive ability, and cognitive ability isn't the end of the story, right? So it's cognitive ability plus conscientiousness adds really a lot to our understanding of how people perform at work. Now we add cognitive ability plus conscientiousness, maybe emotional intelligence, or maybe some measure of well-being, or maybe some other measures that may also get to why people perform well at work. We can get to group level variables. If we're in a good organizational context, context that supports work, if we certain, receive certain kinds of training, all of these things may lead to better performance outcomes. If we can put them in a model together, we can understand how they relate to each other in predicting performance outcomes. And then on the other side of the equation, if we look at outcome variables, well, performance is not just one variable, right? There's multiple ways to look at performance. At the basic level, in IO psychology, we understand that performance is not just task performance, but it's also contextual performance. Uh, organizational citizenship behaviors, which is uh, how being nice to each other, pro-social behaviors where we take care of each other, uh, being on the party planning committee or doing teamwork or helping out a neighbor, right? None of these things are necessarily in our job description, but they are better performance and they are, and they are measured as better performance measures. On kind of the other side of that, that equation, counterproductive work behaviors right, or CWBs. These are basically being a jerk at work. Uh, stealing people's lunches out of the refrigerator or taking pencils home or taking paper home or other resources or not helping people out when they ask for it. These are all different measures of performance you can, and you can get into additional gradations. Well, if we're going to put these three measures together in our understanding of performance, we're going to try to predict task performance, counterproductive work behaviors, and organizational citizenship behaviors all from some other measure uh, cognitive ability or conscientiousness or whatever, again, we have these multiple variables and we get, and that's where we have to do multivariate analysis. So in a nutshell, multivariate analysis means multiple variables. Technically a variate is a combination of variables. Who cares? It's in the book. You can read about it. Um, but multivariate means multiple variables in one model. Uh, and for us, that means both on the predictor side of the equation, as well as on the outcome side of the equation. Those are the techniques that we're going to learn over the course of the semesters, how we apply these multivariate, multiple variable techniques to our prediction problems.